All right, up next is a rarely talked about system. I would consider this next system one of the more rare um, systems from from the classic era. Um, came out in uh, 78, I do believe. And it's uh, the APF M1000. And this is a very, very unique system. Uh, I feel it was a it was ahead of its time. Um, one of the first to have a uh, a number keypad and um, kind of a short uh, short joystick uh, hardwired into the system. Unfortunately, uh, had a cartridge slot. Um, the games are fairly. Um, the size of a Atari 2600, a little bit wider, and uh, about the same uh, length. And uh, there was about uh, 12 games for the system, including a basic cart, so 13. Uh, here's eight of them. Uh, again, this system is uh, very, very, very. I'd say, I'd say it's rare. Um, Especially for a box system, it's 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 very hard to get. Um, you know, failed failed pretty miserably. Um, I'm actually going to show you. Um, let's see if you can probably see that. It's probably terrible on the video screen, but actually show you. Um, with the gameplay. This is the built-in game, Rocket Patrol. Oh, look at that, I missed. If only I could play as well as I could collect. So anyways... Anyways, uh, as an example of how rudimentary the graphics are, um, again, you know, this is 78, uh, again, um, uh, the thing that makes this so unique is it's, it's very small, um, it had, uh, some, some decent ideas for games, you know, uh, but it just really just, you know, production and distribution was very limited. Um, I would say a loose system will easily set you back. I would say a uh, hundred bucks. Um, I got mine at the first one of these five years ago um, at a pretty much retro gaming expo. Uh, the first one we had in, in Vancouver. And uh, like I said, not much else to say other than um, this is definitely uh, for, for maybe the more serious collector due to the price. But again, this is um, hopefully you get a good idea of what the system looks like. Um, games are, again, something you're probably not going to play. Even just to show people, I, I found most of the library fairly boring, uh, looking back at it. But, I mean, back then, I mean, they did, they did have some neat ideas for some games. Just, just not my cup of tea. But, again, I hope this gives you an idea of what the system looked like. The controllers.